All right, welcome everyone. So today what I want to do is I want to actually create a uh, copy of our of our project. Basically, right now my folder with my Unreal Engine project in it because I've got all kinds of starter content and uh, foliage packs and all kinds of things that I just added to it for playing around with. It's about 10 gigabytes. I want to reduce that down to maybe 500 megabytes. How do I do that? First step, we'll launch uh, the Unreal Engine and pull up a blank game. Um, so yeah, let's go to games and we're gonna start a first person, same as we always do. And we're going to title it something new. Make sure you're organized where you're putting it. And I'm gonna call this one Bore Gal Final and Create. Then if you set up your sun and sky with a, uh, a position calculator through the plugins like I did in mine, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you enact and, or enable that first. So we'll go to plugins and we'll just type in sun position calculator and check that. And then we'll go ahead and restart it. So we saved it. And now it should open back up again. And we want to make sure, just double check here. Sun position calculator. Sometimes for some reason, first time you do it, it doesn't work. So just restart it again if it does that, just like it did for me. And let's look one more time. Yeah, that time it's checked. Okay, good. So once that's all checked here, you're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of all of the static meshes that come with the scene here. It's easier to do it now. And hit delete. And just get rid of all of this as well. And that's the post process volume. You can keep it or get rid of it. I'm going to just get rid of it. And then I'm going to save. And I'm going to close this and open up my other project. Okay. So really easily, all you got to do is come down to the content drawer here and you can see this is my starter content it's taking up a bunch of space i also have this kite demo which is an open world demo that you can download that has a lot of assets and environments and stuff in it i am actually going to um, want to delete all of that stuff because i'm not using it but instead of having to go through each of it and deleting it i'm going to just go to our first person maps right click on the first person map and go to Asset Actions, Migrate, OK. Select the folder to migrate to, which will be our new version. And put it in the content folder. Select the content folder, OK. And then I'm just going to say no to this. And then yes to all. Con uh, content migration completed successfully, great. Then the last thing I need to do, close this. Let's go to the content under my project here and find your movies folder and then grab your MP4 or whatever movie folder if you are using motion graphics, copy it and move it to the new folder. It does not transfer. So let's go over here, content, movies and you can see the video is not there so we add it so everything works properly okay and then we go to our final project open it up okay looks just like the other one and i've got bad asset there which is that rifle which we do not need 
And if I hit play, I'm getting that same rifle blueprint error. So then I just come over here and just go ahead and delete this. Compile. And you can actually delete the actual rifle from it too. So if I go to B P rifles right there, I can just delete that force delete it if needed. And then when I hit play, no problem. The last thing we need to do is make sure that the, um, the project settings are using the default And then we're going to go to our project settings and search for RHI and direct X 12 is selected. We're going to change that to default, restart now, save selected. And then when it opens back up your video files and everything should work just fine in your new version of the project. So if I close this down now, when I push play and I walk back to my video piece, it should be playing correctly. Perfect. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So if I save this, let's go see what the difference in size is for my two projects. So I've got this project right here is my original. If I go to properties, I can see it's 10.3 gigabytes. If I go to this project and go to properties, 549 megabytes, quite a big difference in the project size. So I can actually then go back in and just delete my previous projects and I don't need them anymore. That's what I'm going to be using and uh, everything should be set up just fine. So uh, that's just kind of a tip on making your project cleaner and um, optimized. Thank you.